Hey everyone, it's Kevin Jones with Life Money Money. Today we're going to be focusing on a very important topic, and that is an emergency fund. Not many Americans take care of this, and what that means is having cash on hand when something really happens to ourselves or our families. So we're going to kind of discuss why it's important to have one and some strategies about how to put one together because life will happen and emergencies will come whenever when you're least expecting it. So I might want to make sure that you are prepared and you've got emergency fund ready when life does happen. So let's get started. If you haven't already done so, please smash that like button. As you know, it helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. So let's dive into emergency funds. So we've heard many terms used for this type of fund. Let's think of few, maybe like an emergency fund or a rainy day fund or a cookie jar or maybe stuffing money in your mattress. There's all kinds of terms out there for an emergency fund, but however you call it, just making sure that you have one in place because an emergency will come your way when you least expect it. In a recent New York Times article, it stated that 53% of all Americans did not have an emergency fund. Are you kidding me? 53% of Americans don't have any money set aside when life happens. This is just unexplainable considering that we will need cash for so many different variety of things. Maybe your car goes out or you have a medical emergency. The list can go on and on and on. While I recognize that we can plan for a lot of things that will happen in our life, whether we are looking to make a purchase, go on vacation, it doesn't matter what that is, and we can work that into our budget, things will come out of the blue. And that is why an emergency fund is so important and having cash on hand to access it when that emergency happens. Most experts out there will state that you should have three to six months of expenses put into an emergency fund. And that really depends on your situation. Are there two people working? Is there only one person working? It really depends on what's going on in your own household and really determining how much money do you really need to put in there. And you really should look at your own budget to figure that out. The worst thing that could ever happen is there be like a job loss where you absolutely have no money coming in as income and you will need that emergency fund more than ever to make sure that you and your family are taken care of during that time when you're seeking a new job or whatever situation is facing you. As we talked about many times on this channel, an emergency is not a time to take out that credit card and start swiping. That will only put you further in debt and actually escalate the problem at hand. While you already have emergency on your hand, now you're accruing all of this additional debt that you won't even be able to take care of because you don't have the funds in place to take care of that as well. So keep that in mind. That's why an emergency fund is so important to have cash. We always talk about cash is king. Well, cash is king in the one you really need it the most and not necessarily mean making a purchase, but just taking care of things in your own life. Now, in order to make an emergency fund, it really starts with, with building a cushion in your own income stream. And what I mean by that is that you must actually have money left over in your monthly budget in order to put money aside and start saving it. This might actually end up being the hardest step of all, as I know many of you are working paycheck to paycheck, and I don't want to see that happen. I want you to be able to create some kind of extra cash, even if it's just a little bit, because that is the only way you're going to be able to start this emergency fund, and it's that important. These are the essential steps that are needed to keep in mind when you're building your emergency fund. The first thing you need to note is that an emergency fund won't build itself overnight. It will take time. When I built my first emergency fund, it took us about six months to get there. Think about it, six months. But each month we just kind of put a little bit more towards it to kind of achieve that target that we originally set. So just keep in mind it's going to take time and be patient with it and you'll eventually achieve your goal. The second thing you need to work on is actually finding that additional cash in your budget. I recognize it will take patience, but I, the first thing you want to work on is trying to get your expenses down. If you can find a way or something that you can cut out 
So it'll free up cash to put in that emergency fund, at least initially, that will at least get the ball rolling toward your end goal. The third point I wanna make is, this isn't fun, and I recognize this. Trying to free up this extra cash for an emergency, I know many of us wanna be purchasing things that are out there in the marketplace, but just keep this in mind, it's that important. So make it a priority in your life to free up that cash and start that emergency fund. And the last thing I wanna state is that why this is so important is that not only is this taking care of you, but it's also taking care of your family. And we all care about our family members. So make sure that you have this in place so when that emergency does happen, you'll be able to access that cash and take care of it immediately. While we will all have different forms of emergencies that will occur to us from time to time, maybe a car breaks down or your furnace goes out in the middle of the winter, what I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna state it again, is that this is not your savior, but this is your only solution. Think about it, you're already dealing with one emergency at, the, at, at hand. And if you start using your credit card to take care of that one problem, you simply created another one for yourself. Because now you've gotta take on that credit card and it's gonna start accumulating interest month over month. So how, much, how important is it to you to take care of one issue and create another? That's why cash is so important in these situations because it takes care of the issue at hand and you don't have to deal with anything else after that. Now the next thing we need to focus on is actually where to start putting your money for that emergency fund. And some, here are some key tips to keep in mind when you're first starting. The first key is that your emergency fund must be liquid. And when I say liquid, that means cash. And not only cash, but cash at hand. You gotta be able to access it immediately because if an emergency happens, it's not gonna wait a week or a month so that you can go access it out of some investment. You gotta be able to get to it immediately. So my second point is that you need to put your money in something that's very accessible. When an emergency happens, you need it now. Not a month from now, but instantly. So you gotta be able to get, put your money in something like a savings account or a money market account. These things are very accessible because if you put in an investment, who knows how long it'll take to get it out. Moving into my third point, as I just spoke about, don't put your money in something like an investment or a stock or a CD, a certificate of deposit, because it does take a long time to extract that money out. But also you run the risk of penalty because a lot of these devices are put in place for you to hold them long term. So if you start pulling that money out short term, you probably will rack up a bunch of penalties and end up losing more money in the situation when you have an emergency at hand already. And my last point is keep it simple. Like I said, this is for an emergency. It's there just sitting there in its soft little nest waiting for you when something happens in your life. So don't make this complicated. Like I said, a savings account is about as simple as it comes. So build that up knowing that it's there when you need it. And also to add to keeping it simple is to make sure that you create an account simply for the emergency fund. Do not mix this up with any other savings or checking accounts that you already have in place because that will only complicate the matter of where the money's supposed to go. So create your own account for the emergency fund and only put money in there for that specific purpose. If you're struggling to find some additional cash to start that emergency fund, I would recommend you to use something, an app like digit.co. Um, they have built a product here where actually it will extract a little bit of money each day from your checking account and put it into account for you and, and let your savings grow. So it's done automatically for you. And so even if it means a couple of dollars a day to kind of get the ball rolling and having it do it out of sight may be the best solution for you. So I'm gonna leave a link below so that when you start your first account, you'll actually get five additional dollars to get you started. I wanna make sure that you have any tool at your discretion to get going. And that means even if you're having, struggling initially, at least you've got something in place that will get you going and, have, and make sure that you take care of that next emergency. Now that you've got all these tips and techniques on how to build your emergency fund, 
The last point I want to make is that an emergency fund is for exactly that, an emergency. Don't overstep with this, all these thousands of dollars that may be sitting in this, ca in this account and start using it for something like, oh, I need a brand new TV. Or, oh, I've been looking at this brand new sports boat. I mean, think about all the different things you may be saying, wow, I could be spending on all these wonderful toys and things out in the marketplace. Stop yourself, really stop yourself. An emergency fund is only for emergency, so never touch it unless you absolutely need it. If you're starting from the very beginning with your first emergency fund, start small. Don't feel like you've got to build this emergency fund of $25,000 right off the bat. I get it. It's going to take time. So get comfortable with it and build an account of maybe $500 or $1,000 just to get you moving in the right direction. Having that in an account will save you from so many different situations than having nothing at all. Thanks for watching today. And in Life, Mind & Money, we focus on life. Life will happen at any moment when you least expect it. And I want to make sure that you are prepared for that situation financially. Don't let a credit card overtake the situation. Have the cash on hand to take on that situation so that it won't end up rearing its ugly head down the road. That's the last thing you want on your hands. If you haven't already done so, please smash that like button as I want to see all of you champion yourselves to have an emergency fund so you are prepared for any situation. Also, I want to hear from you, so please leave your comments below. And lastly, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to this channel as I really appreciate all your support and comments. Thanks for watching today and I'll catch you next time.